Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for the, what is today? The 22nd of January, I believe. It's, well, no, it will be for the weekend, the 22nd, the 23rd, 24th. Whatever this weekend is, is what this is for. Uh, general reading, may or may not resonate, take what fits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. All right, let's see what we got going on. The weekends are always very interesting, and um, my weekend last weekend was certainly very interesting. So, it'll be interesting, interesting to see how this one goes. All righty, let's see. What do we have going on this weekend for the collective? What do we need to know? Mm. Interesting. We're starting out with adjacent possibilities. There's multiple ways something could go, multiple choices. There's a big aspect of a door here, because we have door to value. Which door do you want to open? Huh. interesting reading already just judging by those two cards it's like what are the options anything else here hmm. deceit what I tell you it's about to get juicy we wanted juicy details yesterday, didn't we? We didn't get them. Hostilities. All right, <clears throat> buckle up, get your popcorn, because um, something's happening. All right, again, we have adjacent possibilities, door to value, deceit and hostilities. Not sure what's going on yet, but we're going to dig. I was going to pull some of these, but I think we need to dig in this first. <clears throat> okay. Not sure what deck to clarify with. All right. Tell me about these adjacent possibilities. What are these options? What are these adjacent possibilities? Um, first card out, two of cups. Tell me more about these. God, ten of pentacles. This is everything. Ultimate happiness, abundance, family, marriage, financial abundance. Okay, so is that one option? Or is there two options for that? What's this adjacent possibilities? adjacent possibilities here. What are these two options or multiple options that we have here? <clears throat> the catalyst. Okay. Um... Please, a man. Some sort of male catalyst comes in. Maybe that changes the course of the path. Tell me more about these adjacent possibilities. This came out earlier and I didn't take it. The garden, something to do with public. Could be a date, could be meeting someone in public. Hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna sneeze for like the 85th time. <coughs> I always sneeze when I'm reading. Oh, I think it's because my nose always tingles. Okay. Tell me more about this adjacent possibilities. Something's weird here and I can't quite figure it out. Um, we have the broom. This is about, I don't need it, I don't want it. But it also says unavoidable. Um, you might have been trying to avoid somebody. And they come out of nowhere. more about this adjacent possibilities um i'm very confused but there's something happening here that we need to figure out so stick with me tell me more about this adjacent possibilities all oh, that glitters it's about something hidden. Something, something reveals itself with this catalyst, right? Something maybe that you've been trying to avoid. Hi. Maybe you have a run in with them, right? Okay, hold on. It's like we're literally still going off on, oh no, we were talking about this yesterday, between worlds. Remember I said someone had to lose you to wake up or whatever? You would close the door yourself. Remember I said there's a thing about doors here because we have door to value. You're like, I know my value. I'm just going to shut that door. I'm going to avoid it. Okay. You've moved on. You decided to just do your thing. You know, you're just out there looking for this, whatever. Maybe you're hanging out with friends. Maybe you're doing whatever. I don't know. All of a sudden, you've already closed this door, right? You already closed this door. Right, because this person was wearing a mask. This person was still in this gray. They were between worlds. They were still in this gray, right? You already closed that door. And what you forgot was it's unavoidable. Boom, catalyst rushes in, right? Either this could be them asking you on a date, or this could be a physical run-in. Oh, what a coincidence. You're here, too. Okay. All right. But then, what's up with this deceit and hostilities? It's weird. All right. Please tell me about deceit. What is this deceit here? What is this deceit? Okay, well, we did have the mask, right? What is this deceit? Heartbreak. Three of swords. What do you mean, deceit about heartbreak? Well, we were talking about yesterday. Someone had to be heartbroken in order to wake up. Hermit. They've gone within. <clears throat> person you mm, the lovers so 
I mean, my, my usually my readings continue on from the day before. Other people do them differently, but that's usually how mine roll. Um, sometimes we switch gears, but this feels like that person that we walked out on, right? Or you gave up on. I mean, you have to be walked out on, but gave up on whatever. Like, I'm done with this. I'm going to shut this door. Little did you know, this person's actually been in hermit mode, very upset over it. And then boom. Hi. Tell me more about this deceit. Tell me more about this deceit. this person being deceptive about the man again oh here we go with this again i'm talking about it for a week now you may have moved on to another person they may be watching you being romantic with someone else, whatever. It's literally the same story for last week. But this feels more intense. <laughs> this feels like something's about to happen. Third person, right? This person, you gave up, you walked away, you moved on, like I said in the beginning. You may be doing this with someone else, or you may just be living the single life, whatever it is, right? Third person could be your friend that you were out having a great time with, and this person's mad that you're living your best life and not crying over them, right? Third person can be anything. But yesterday's reading, we were talking about this person had to be heartbroken. You had to be ripped away from this person for them to wake up, okay? So you moved on to a third person. You gave up, right? I don't need you. I'm done with this. Goodbye. Little did you know, this person was in their hermit mode, in their feels, heartbroken, right? Because you might have been out with the third person, all right? Uh, I can't believe we have him back again. All right, next up, we have hostilities. Someone's not happy. <laughs> I don't know if this is you or them. Tell me more about hostilities. Two of pentacles. You treated me like an option. And now you're mad because I'm doing something else. Tell me more about hostilities. more about hostilities please you wouldn't give this pentacle it's like th this person comes back out of nowhere right like catalyst boom you've already moved on right or whether that be with someone else or not doesn't matter you've already moved on they come back and you're like seriously like now you had your shot Where's hostilities here? Where's hostilities here? <laughs> it's back! You're like, you let me move on to a third person. And now you come back because you know I'm doing something else. It's a classic tale. It's energy. It always happens. As soon as you move on, as soon as you forget about someone, they come back. It's it's just literally the law of, like, everything. Like, I've known that before I was spiritual or read tarot. It is just a thing. You forget about someone, they come back. Boom. It's energy. And I literally, it's like, I've known that before I even did any of this stuff. And it's always been something that's frustrating, right? It's like, I don't even need to really pull any more cards for this, but it's like, seriously, you treated me like an option. You wouldn't give this pentacle, 
this other person didn't feel the need to be that wishy-washy with me, right? And you're mad. Huh. It's funny, because we've been talking about this energy for, like I said, a week now. It started last Friday. And... This now feels like fire slit. It's a little bit different. It's the same thing, but it's a little bit more intense. All right. Anything else you could tell us here? Second chances. Now, remember we had adjacent possibilities, right? Do you accept this person back or do you move on with your new thing? else here between worlds again this person's now in your world at your vibration telling you everything you want to hear and you're like seriously <clears throat> all right that's all we're gonna take from that um let's see the guardian in the gate passes to the new life this person's now at your level do you give it a second shot or do you say nope I've moved on. Hmm. This is this guy. I don't want to say any of the names of these cards, but this is, um, it's fear, but it's imaginary fear, unreal hazards. Like I said, someone's saying everything you ever wanted them to say, and you're like, I don't buy it. I don't believe you. But is it, unrealistic fears are they serious do you care to even find out singer of initiation same kind of card passed through trial new level this person leveled up like i said this person had to be heartbroken to level up and now they come back and you're like hold on a second Hi, I like you. I have a crush on you. Various kissed by the pixies. And you're like, bro, wait, what? Or, oh, I really want to commit to you now. Huh? What do you mean? Anything else here? Snake competition. Here's this competition energy again. Enemy, clever, malicious look over your shoulder, the other woman. Exactly. It took competition for this person to wake up, it took them being hurt for them to wake up, which is annoying. And you have a choice to make here. Do I give this person a second shot or do I say, you know what, I've moved on? Separation. This person's gonna come back and be like, oh, I miss you. Sadness missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. I know what I want now. You're like, do you? Girl talk. You might not even be with somebody, right? Like I said, that third person may be you just living your best life. And the person's hurt because you just walked away and are completely acting like you do not care at all, right? It's time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So regardless, whether the third person is something romantic or not, you are out living your best life completely abandoning them and they don't like it The 
mirror <clears throat> mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection mirrors the opposite reflection right hmm. All right. Any final messages here? Island solo. Again, you're just living your single life. You may be seeing someone, but doesn't mean you're not single. I just saw the third person card again. Anything else you can tell us here? I knew that was gonna come out! Oh my god, I literally just had it in my head. Oh, the crossroads, right? Jason, possibilities. Do you give this person a second shot or do you continue A, living your single life or B, with someone new, right? Hummingbird, be present. Maybe you don't have to make a choice right away. I'll get back to you. You made me wait, I'll make you wait. Anything else here? Yeah, this um, reading is pretty much about a choice here. Stallion breaking free. This person, that other person, right? Comes charging in. You have a choice. The mountain, obstacle, problem. The ring, contract. Which contract do you want to begin? Hold on. The sun, what's going to make you happy? Alright, what is this mountain here? What is this problem? What is this problem here? Tornado, competition. Might cause a fight. Drama. Depending on which way you go. Because now there's multiple people involved. Don't make any rash decision. May, uh, think about it. Let's see. What advice do we have here? Um, what advice do we have here about this situation? True North. Follow what you feel the most guided to. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Trust where you feel magnetically drawn to. Don't do things out of hurt and fear. What do you feel magnetically drawn to? I love this about lucid, lucid dreams, telepathy. You may get a message telepathically or in your dreams or something um, about what choice to make. Any more advice here? Any more advice on which decision? Archer, shoot your shot. Take a risk. Whatever one you want to take a risk at. It's whatever you feel. Whatever your gut tells you. My nose is freaking out. Whatever your gut tells you. <laughs> the clock, perfect timing. Perfect timing, shoot your shot. I don't think you could make a wrong choice. I think it's just a different path. Whatever you feel most guided to do, whatever possibility you want to take is what you're supposed to do. I know that sounds very vague, but 
that's how it feels here. Whatever your gut tells you, whatever you feel most guided, whatever you feel like is right. Don't try to do anything crazy. Don't think anything. Don't really think out of the box with this one, really. It's just whatever your gut tells you, but don't not do something because of fear. Um, or don't not give someone a shot because you're petty. You know what I mean? Like, if you genuinely feel like someone's being a snake, no, don't give them a second chance. But maybe if your gut tells you they are, give it a shot. Or either way, whatever it is, follow the true north. Follow what you feel most guided to take. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.